Hey, crypto friends, for those of you who are new to the channel, my name is Garrett and welcome to Altcoin Radar. Today we are going to be taking a look at the Arweave charts and we're going to see where it might be headed and we will cover both bullish and bearish scenarios as well, just to simply cover all of the possibilities. And towards the end of the video, as always, I will cover the overall macro structure of the overall Altcoin market cap as well. Now, for those of you who love trading crypto and would like to try out the same crypto exchanges that I use on a regular basis, feel free to go ahead and try out either the Mexi exchange or the Blowfin exchange with the links in the video description down below this video. Now, the reasons why I love using these exchanges, one, I love using Mexi because they have some of the cheapest trading fees in the entire industry, and that means you get to keep more of your profits, which is very, very nice. Now. The reason why I love Blowfin is because they allow anybody from anywhere to trade or sign up or tra sign up and trade crypto futures. So if you're from the United States and you want to trade crypto futures, you can do it here on Blowfin. This is actually where I currently trade crypto futures as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at our weave on the daily chart. As we can clearly see here, our weave has been doing absolutely, and I mean absolutely phenomenal, you guys. I mean, just from the bottom here, just from the bottom here I mean it has gone up like it's gone up over 500% it's gone up over 500% just in a little over three months which is insanely 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 good all right just absolutely insanely good um, I personally wasn't in this in this one for the long term um, but it is very nice to see reputable coins like this uh, performing extremely well and it has more room for growth as well and what I could see happening here in the midterm, as far as price action is concerned, in a bullish scenario, here is what I personally see happening. I could see this price end up dropping. Here's the thing. We ended up going to the top of this uh, key resistance area right here where that we created back in at the end of March here, right in here. We ended up going up to that point right there, uh, $46.54, and started to drop right away. Now, we could end up dropping to this midterm support area right in here. So right in around here of about $41.46, or if momentum isn't strong enough to bounce off of that and go higher again, we could end up dropping down to the bottom of this channel here of the, um, of this, uh, of this, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Oh gosh. Um, bottom of this trend line right here before bouncing off and going up again. All right. Now, in a bearish or sorry, in a bullish scenario, what I could see happening here is uh, we end up breaking out here and going even higher and breaking above this resistance area with enough momentum. If momentum is there and break out and go up to the top of it, but we will most definitely end up be hitting resistance up here at forty nine dollars and fifty cents. And if that ends up happening, if momentum is strong enough, I would fully expect it to only go down to about this level of forty six dollars and fifty four cents before continuing continuing to go up again and creating another high, all right? And that's realistically what I see happening in a bullish scenario here with our weave, all right? Now, as far as a bearish scenario is concerned, um, I mean, anything can happen in crypto, and that's why I love doing both bullish and bearish scenarios, because simply anything can happen, all right? I'm not the type of person who's going to sit here and tell you that, oh my gosh, you guys, our weave is going to go straight up forever, all right? I'm just not that type of person. I like to look at things with a realistic view, so that's why I cover both bullish and bearish scenarios. So in a bearish scenario, this thing could keep continuing to drop. And if momentum isn't strong enough, we will most definitely drop through this trend line here and drop through this uh, support level down here at $36.80 as well, all right? Now, considering our weave has been going up for quite some time, it is definitely a good possibility that this could be happening soon, all right? Because nothing ever goes straight up forever, all right? Now, if this does end up happening and we do end up dropping, I would assume that it would end up being a drop that's somewhere within this range right here that we ended up having here, which was about 55%, all right? And if that does end up happening and we do end up dropping that far, I mean, we could fully expect, let's see, 55% from here would be right around to this bottom of this channel right here, which means we could end up dropping all the way straight down to this $20.51 area once again, all right? Again, I'm not saying this is going to happen. I'm saying this is, this is a 
in a bearish scenario that could end up happening. But as far as going lower than this, realistically, I don't see that happening, especially with how much momentum is currently in our weave. I do not see it ever going past $20.52, all right? At least not anytime soon, all right? Uh, realistically, in a in a realistic scenario, I honestly see this thing continuing to make more high, more higher lows all the way up, you know, more another higher low here, higher low here, higher low here, and create another higher low somewhere around, you know, right in here and in here and continuing the step ladder all the way up and just keep making more and more highs. All right. But that is only contingent on this thing continuing to make or continuing to gain momentum and continuing to go higher and higher and higher. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, turn on some indicators and see what the indicators are showing us. When we turn on the indicators, we can clearly see that price action is still above all of the moving averages, which is very nice to see. That's what we want to see. And if we do end up dropping from here further, we want to see realistically we want to see price bouncing off of one of these moving averages which one it'll happen on who knows i don't know uh but that's what we want to see here okay now when we turn that off and look at the bollinger bands we can clearly see that okay yeah price did end up hitting this level it didn't end up going to the top of the bands which honestly realistically tells me personally that okay momentum is being lost in this coin and we are riding the moving average right down in here as well right now at the time of me filming this video and we could end up dropping through and if we do end up dropping through it will most definitely start a start a short-term downtrend all right now uh, when we take away the bollinger bands and look at the stochastic rsi and the regular rsi on the daily we can clearly see that um, i mean technically uh, we are in overbought territory on the rsi which is the green line uh, but it's not too overbought it's pretty much in neutral territory if i were to you know if i were to just blatantly say it uh, we're pretty much in uh, neutral territory and i fully expect that we will continue this higher higher a little bit uh, which would mean, you know, the price would probably go and maybe put potentially close um, at, you know, somewhere within this range between uh, where it's at right now and $46.54 before starting the next daily candle. All right. So as far as that is concerned, overall, I see nothing but upward movement, continued upward movement for our weave. I mean, that's what I hope to see anyway. Uh, that's what we want to see. But we do have to come to reality and we do have to be realistic about this stuff. And this thing has been going up for quite some time. So if it does start to drop and have, you know, if it does start to drop and start a bearish a bearish trend to the downside, do not be surprised, okay? Do not be surprised. Don't be mad at it. It's completely normal, okay? Uh, just be ready to buy the buy the big dip when it happens, if that does end up happening, okay? So uh, with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the overall um altcoin market cap chart for the overall altcoin market okay this is the total three chart now what's interesting to me here uh we did we are in an uptrend here but we are also within a rising wedge which obviously everybody knows in a rising wedge eventually it comes down uh, but it does not happen every single time okay realistically what i want to see happen here is we have already created a higher low here higher low here higher low here and i'm hoping this is a higher low right in here as well and what i'm hoping happens here is altcoin within the next few days or so start to go up and we come to the top of this channel and bounce back down and go back down and then go back up and then back down and we just continue the process up and down until we end up making a decision on if there's enough momentum in the altcoin market or not to break through and go up all right realistically for that to happen for me to feel extremely bullish on altcoins i will not feel extremely all bullish on altcoins personally until we break through the 765 billion dollar level right up here all right so keep that in mind but when we or if we do if we end up having a bearish trend or anything like that, um, the key levels of support that we want to be looking at here are $623 billion, $595 billion, and $558 billion as well. So guys, um, 
Before I overall, or before I go ahead and wrap up this video, if you guys enjoyed this video and you got some decent value out of it, please make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the like button below the video to help me out, and leave me a comment up below on your personal thoughts on where you think the price of our weave is going to go here real soon. And with that said, for those of you who stuck around and watched through the entire video, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate all of you, and I hope to see you all in my future videos.